Hey everybody, I'm back and today I am doing a Q&A. Now I, I posted on Instagram saying ask me a question. I posted on my Insta story. I said ask me a question for YouTube channel and I put the question tab. And a lot of you guys asked questions. Um, I was actually surprised at how many questions I got. I am not saying names just for confidentiality reasons but I will be reading the questions, or as many as I can, and I will be answering them to the fullest possible extent. <laughs> um, I have got my friend Caitlin here on FaceTime to help me out, and yeah, you can barely see her because it's, it's glaring because there's a light in the room and shit, but um, yeah, she's here. She just spent a lot of time on her makeup. <laughs> um, I've got Rocky here, as I promised on my Insta story. Um, I record on my phone, as you guys already know, um, so what I did is I screenshot the questions in the question tab, and I airdropped them all to my computer, or I screenshot as many as I could and airdropped them to my computer. So, without further ado, let's ask, or let's answer some of the questions you guys asked. Um, yeah, and you just have to... I asked you to be here via FaceTime, but they're not going to be able to see you anyway, so I'm not focused on whether they can see you on the computer or whether the computer is facing them. Because it has a glare and they can barely see anything anyways. Um, Rocky, where are you going? Come here. He's standing at the back door. I'm not going to go open it again only for him to look at me. Come here. He literally stares at me whenever he goes to the back door. I open it for him like he wants to go out or something, and he stares at me. Hey. Hey. Okay. Right. So, the first question asked, what is your New Year's resolution? Um, you know, I really haven't thought about it. I would say... Probably keep living my life to the fullest and hopefully, I don't know, Caitlin, do you have any New Year's resolutions? Um, I think be less of a bitch is a good one. I think that's a good one, be less of a bitch. Also, for you guys who don't know, Caitlin is like my literal best friend in the entire world. She has been there for me through the ups and the downs and... Yeah, and she's very fucked up with her sense of humor, just like me. So, yeah, perfect match. <laughs> um, yeah, I think, I think be less of a bitch. Or how about be less of an asshole? Because I ain't no one's bitch, as far as I'm concerned. I'd sooner suffer a painful death than be someone's bitch. You're my bitch. No, I'm not. Mm -hmm. I ain't no one's bitch. Um... So the next question is, what are you asking for for Christmas? Technically it says, well, what are you asking for Christmas? But, I mean, we know what they mean. Jew. <laughs> well, mm. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, we're, we're Jewish. Um, and on top of that, we're not really religious, so. <laughs> we're Jewish and not, reli not religious, so. Literally, I celebrate Hanukkah for the presents <laughs> and the food. That's it. <laughs> presents and food. I'm not a religious person. I think religious divide. I think religion divides us. For some reason, I can't speak today. I think religion divides us, honestly. And yeah, so I'm really not. I my religious view is that like there has to be, and I'm a psychic, so I would know like there is an afterlife, but like. That's my thing is there has to be an afterlife. There has to be some sort of life after this. It's like the universe is just so vast and there's just so much unexplained shit and so much weird shit. Like there just has to be a life after this. And on top of that, like we know spirits are real. Like at least I do. I've experienced paranormal activity firsthand. So, but like. Honey, I am paranormal activity. Yeah, we are paranormal. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, um, I, I, there has to be some kind of afterlife, there has to be some kind of higher power, there just can't not be, but, um, 
while there, while I do believe there has to be some kind of higher power and there has to be some kind of afterlife, I don't believe in heaven and hell. And I don't really, I'm not a religious person. I'm, I don't follow religion that much. I celebrate Hanukkah for the purpose of coming together with family and friends, presents, and food. Honey, honey motherfucker, you specified presents and food. You can't pull family in last minute. No, no, no. Because I know you don't mean that. But you're family. Aw, baby. Yeah. I'm not talking about blood relatives. <laughs> oh, fuck relatives. <laughs> like, you, you can't choose your relatives, but you can choose your family. So I think the purpose of coming together with family and friends and the food and presents and um, it's a, so I think for Christmas, it's, that's the same thing for Christmas. For Christmas, I normally look forward to one of my friends does like an annual oh, Christmas God. party and I just look forward to the party. So yeah, it's the same reason with Hanukkah, like just coming together, family, friends, food, presents. That's what I look forward to. Um, okay, so the next question, are you excited for Christmas? God, there's a lot of, there's a lot of Christmas questions. Holy shit. Um, I'll just say holidays. That's true, can we just say holidays? Seriously. Um, you know what? I'm excited for the Jeff Dunham Christmas special that airs every year. That's what I'm excited for. I'm just having to find my fucking jewel. Um, what are you? <laughs> By just saying, my, you just got this video demonetized. Well, shit, I'm gonna cut that out. <laughs> are you gonna cut that out? <laughs> no, I'm not gonna cut it out. Screw it. Um, uh, I'll bleep it out. Have a, I'll purchase a bleep. Yeah, that's fine. It. No. Honestly, fuck it. You know how much I joke about this shit? I think they're past it at this point. Oh my god, I'm just screech. Um. So yeah. What? Hate crime canceled. My jewel was in my bra. Your jewel was in your bra. Okay. That's the new one. Um. What does that mean? I don't know. It just is. Um. So we're excited for the Jeff Dunham Christmas special. Uh, um, disagree. You don't like Jeff Dunham? Um, he's not like my favorite person in the universe. Kiss me, he's a comedy genius. I saw him live. He's awesome. Motherfucker, I am a comedy genius. I want to see you on a comedy war with Jeff Dunham. God, I'm so much fun with my Jeff Dunham. Prove it. All my jokes are fucking offensive. No. <laughs> That's true. Um, <laughs> Racky, come here. Come in camera. I promised them you'd be here. Story time. Story time. I admit I may have overreacted, and I hope you can see past it if I'm overdramatic. My anic seem erratic and it's pro Oh, God. Story time. I admit I may have overreacted, and I hope you can see past it if I'm overdramatic. If my anaxiom erratic and a touch problematic, it's an old bad habit. I, I do mental acrobatics, make the situation seem undoubtedly traumatic, when the truth is if you study my intense is reactions, and the essence are a far like pro cry from pragmatic. What? What's, is that literally like Tana? Gabby Hannah. <laughs> Gabby Hannah. Gabby Hannah. I showed you the roast yourself harder challenge, didn't I? Oh, it was fucking awesome. Um, <clears throat> oh god, so the next question is... So, um, real quick, by the way. I don't even know if I'm reading these in order. Um, Rocky, come here. Come here. No. You do not... You do not eat the carpet. Come here. No. Come here. Come here. Come up here. Come on. Come on. You could do it. Go up. Oh, do not. No, do not sit on my laptop. Uh. Okay. So now I got Rocky up here with me also. What? 
Are you muted? I'll be right back. Okay. You a good boy? You a good boy? Okay. So yeah. Where was I? Because I lost my place. <laughs> Just done on Christmas special. That's what I'm looking forward to. Okay, now. Um, someone says... Oh, God. Someone says... Um, Rocky! Caitlin, Rocky just... I don't know what the fuck Rocky just did, but the questions disappeared. <laughs> he, like, leaned on my laptop and the questions disappeared. I don't think she can hear me. I think she went into the kitchen. Oh, here, got him back. Cool. Um, Rocky, do not do that again. You fuck up my laptop, I sell your food. No, I'm just kidding. I love you. I can never do that. No. <laughs> I'm gonna try to think of offensive things to say, but fail miserably. Um. Alright, someone says, how do you handle anxiety? Uh, Caitlin, you missed it by disappearing. I miss a lot of things by disappearing. He leaned on my keyboard, and all the questions disappeared. Are you trying to get me demonetized? Sobriety's for fucking losers. You're trying. I love you too. I love you too, Rocky. Sobriety's right. for pussies. We eat for the win. Stop trying to get me demonetized. Um, I got it. We support weed, but you know, YouTube doesn't yet, so. Um, no, honestly, though, I'd say I handle my anxiety. Uh, music is basically my therapy. It, it's my coping skill. Music has gotten me through... Really, Rocky? <laughs> music has gotten me through so much, and, yeah, I'd say music is how I handle anxiety. It's how I handle a lot of shit. It really just, it helps me with a lot of stuff, so. Music is my answer for you. Um, also, crying myself to sleep at night. No, I'm just kidding. Kind of, kind of kidding. No, I'm just, I swear I'm kidding. Um, so next was, how did you find Nightshine? Okay, for those of you guys who don't know, Nightshine is a, he's an influencer. Um... I kind of call him the masked, or the masked influencer or whatever, because he wears this like light up mask and he does ASMR content, but his main focus is music. And so he has an ASMR channel and a music channel. And he's also really active on Instagram and Twitter. Um, but I kind of refer to him as the male Thea because he never shows his face. He wears a mask. Um, I actually found him when he followed me, and then I was like, who is this? And I followed him back, and then he unfollowed me, and then he followed me again. I then spent about 20 minutes rambling about how great he is, which I had to cut out in order to save time. One of the things I love about him is just like me, he tries to be really interactive with his viewers and his fans, and will talk to his fans and his viewers. Just amazing like that. One of the things I love is, like, he does, just like me, he does that. And so, yeah. Um, yeah, go subscribe to Nightshine's channel. Go follow him. Go pledge to his Patreon. I'll link all his things below with mine. Someone says, what made you start music? Actually, that's an interesting one. So, I got my start performing when I was very young. Now, I have family friends in the industry and stuff like I kind of grew up around people like my mom's friend Angie is Art Garfunkel's niece and if you don't know who Art Garfunkel is he's one half of the famous singing duo Simon and Garfunkel um and that's just like the least of the people I know like I know a lot of people um <laughs> so I kind of grew up around that kind of scene but I don't think I knew what I wanted to do till I was about 
four. I was four years old and I got to sing in a talent show and that's when I realized like this is what I want to do with my life. I was singing, I think I covered Britney Spears' showdown and Touch of My Hand. I sung those two which no four year old should be listening to but that's what I was listening to. Um, yeah. So I sung those in a talent show and I just had never felt more at home. And from that day, I knew, like, this is what I want to do with my life. I just, there's nothing better than that feeling of just being on stage in front of an audience, a large audience singing. And so I feel most at home when I'm on stage in front of a large audience. And the larger the audience, the better. I don't even know how I do this sometimes. Because part of the reason I'm going back and forth with my words and just messing up constantly on YouTube and stuff is because I don't feel comfortable like this in front of a, just me in front of a camera or even a small crowd or whatever I get really nervous and clam up the larger the crowd the better which is really weird to say most people it's the larger the crowd the more ner for me it's the the larger the crowd the better the smaller the crowd the more nervous so yeah I don't know Caitlin did you text me again I'm gonna have to go to dinner soon, sissy. Okay. Um, I'm not a sissy. And... Oh, I meant C-I-S-S-Y, like cisgender. What is that? <laughs> what? It's like... It's being... The, the gender... That you were born as. What? <laughs> I'm so confused. I'm not high enough for this. <laughs> there I go getting my own video demonetized. <laughs> That's why I said I don't care because I knew I was going to get it demonetized myself eventually. Someone says, what do you do on your free time? Should I demonstrate? I'll demonstrate. <laughs> my life. I hate my life <laughs> killed me already eat my I'm fucking life I'm kidding <laughs> no what I do on my free time I'm sorry about that that's what I used to do on my free time by the way I'm proud to say I don't do that anymore but that's what I used to do on my free time um I say what I do on my free time is Try and create less free time. <laughs> that, that's the best answer. I, I try to spend time with my friends. I try to spend time with my family. Um, <clears throat> spend time with this little baby here. Um, sleep, eat, work out, because I love going in the gym. Uh, create as much content as I can for you guys when I'm not creating content, because technically that's part of my job, so I'm busy doing that. Um, but when I'm not doing the shit, when I am free, um, if I'm not taking a few minutes to record, I will be choreographing some new choreography for you guys. I will, uh, uh, it really just depends. I don't know what you guys consider my free time. <laughs> Everything I do in the industry is all my work, so I wouldn't say that's free. So, um, choreography, all that's not free time for me. This wouldn't even be free time for me. This is my job. It's part of my work. It's part of the industry now. Um, I'd say, yeah, I spend time with Rocky. I spend time with my friends, my family. Uh, I eat, I sleep, and I work out. Because I just, I love going in the gym. I love working out. I'm a little obsessed with it. Um. <laughs> listen to Britney Spears. I listen, I listen to a lot of music, especially Britney Spears. I'm obsessed, for those of you who didn't already know. Um, okay. what? Alright, I love you. Alright. Oh, wait, wait. You want to answer one more with me? I can't. Oh, come on, I just found a really good one. Okay, wait. 
You have to go. How long yes. are you going to be? Um, I'm putting shoes on. 40, 30 to 45, maybe 20. Do you want me to stop and wait for you? Um, you can if you want. I think I'm going to continue answering. Um, okay. Bye. Okay. Um, how long have I been filming now? Like, this is kind of crazy. 22 minutes and 46 seconds. Holy shit. Um, on my free time, you know, I spend time with Rocky. Spend time with my friends and family. Um, eat, sleep, work out, listen to Britney Spears, listen to other music. Um, I'm obsessed with Riverdale, so I always make time to watch Riverdale. If not the night it premieres, the night after. I always make time. I'm, I'm obsessed with that fucking show. I love it. Um, yeah, that's my free time, basically. <laughs> dream place to travel to. Okay, so I've spoken about this a lot. My dream vacation... My dream vacation is cliff diving in Acapulco. But I'm saving that till I'm assigned to a label and I've had at least four number one albums. Once that's happened, then I will go cliff diving. I'm kind of saving it as my reward. But my dream vacation of all time is cliff diving. And I can't just do it anywhere. I have to do it in Acapulco because that is like go-to for cliff diving. So that's your answer to that, cliff diving in Acapulco. Uh, someone said, are you in the Illuminati? <laughs> I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> um, someone says, um, would you ever get a pole fitted in your house? Would be great for music videos. <laughs> um, I knew the weird questions were coming up. That's why I didn't want her to go. I knew they were coming up. Um, I... Sure, why not? <laughs> um, prison says, describe your like in a sentence. I think they meant describe your life in a sentence, but they wrote describe your like in a sentence. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna assume they meant life, and I'm gonna go out on a limb here to say they they meant describe your life in a sentence. Um, if I had to describe my life in one sentence, oh god. After about three hours of trying to figure out what to say... At a very young age, I devoted my life to the entertainment industry. That's what I'm gonna leave it at. Put it that way. My life revolves around the entertainment industry. Let's see. <laughs> okay, I fucking love this question. Someone says, would you rather suck a tramp's toe or pick up and eat some gum from the floor? Would you rather suck a tramp's toe or pick up and eat some gum from the floor? <laughs> well, uh, can I boil the gum first? <laughs> it doesn't say I don't have to boil the gum. It doesn't say I can't boil it to get rid of germs. So I'm gonna go with the gum because I can pick it up with some plastic gloves or something. Like I could pick it up wearing gloves and I can put it in boiling water, boil away the germs and then eat it. So that's what I'm gonna go with. That same person says eternal youth or endless supply of money. Bring in the money, bitch. I like dollars, I like diamonds, I like stunting, I like shining, I like million dollar deals with my pen, bitch I'm signing. Sorry. Yeah, bring in the money. I'll take the money. Someone says, you're the only survivor in a plane crash. Everyone else, rest in peace. Would you turn to cannibalism to survive? No. That sounds disgusting. No. I would not turn to cannibalism to survive. That sounds absolutely disgusting. Someone says, what breed... What They said, what breed of your dog, but I'm pretty sure they meant what breed is your dog. 
Rocky, your time to shine. Can you sit up? Can you sit up? Come on, sit up. Sit up. Come here. Mm -hmm. Come here. Come here, sit up. Come here. Uh. Sit up. Come on, sit up, bitch. Sit up. Up. Okay, I didn't say leave. I said sit up. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Up. Oop. Do not knock over my. Do not knock over my drink. Come on. Um. I have these struggles to get on this really low couch. Come here. Okay. So Rocky here. Come here. Say hi. Or not. Rocky here is a miniature English bulldog. Now we always joke and say someone lied about the miniature because he's fully grown. What we realized is they say he's a miniature English bulldog because he gets the full grown body, but come here, face the camera. As you can see here, he keeps a puppy face. So he gets a full grown body. Oh, Rocky, don't. He gets a full grown body, but he keeps the puppy face. And he's so adorable and I love him to death. Come here. Mm -hmm. oh, come here. He keeps the puppy face, but he has a full grown body and he's way too big for this, but I'm encouraging it right now. He does this all the time and knows it's wrong. Like he sits on my lap. He knows that I don't like it. He does it all the time. But I'm encouraging it right now because I want to love him. And just spend time with him also. Here you go. He's been refusing to spend time with me all day, so I'm going to encourage it right now. Um, but yeah, he gets a full-grown body, keeps the puppy face. He's a miniature English bulldog. Um, someone else said... Oh, what the fuck did I do? Someone said, Are you ever, are you ever going to ask out Jacob? He's been telling me all about you. Was that one of the guys who direct messaged me? I guess so many direct messages all the oh I think I, I know who they're talking about. Um According to Jacob, he doesn't like me. <laughs> so people have been these people to fill you guys in on what's going on. These people have been messaging me like nonstop and I'm just messaging with them back because I try to be nice to my viewers and stuff. You know, I try to I I, I wouldn't be anything without you guys, so if I get a direct message from a viewer, of course I'm gonna respond. As long as it's not hate or something, I'm gonna respond. Um, you guys are like family to me, so yeah. I think my fans, you guys are like family to me, so of course I'm gonna respond. I always respond to direct messages. This group of people lead me on a wild goose chase. <laughs> so, first they're like, Jacob really likes you, or for, no, first they're pretending they're like, so someone likes you, but I can't say who. And so I message back, I'm like, who? And they're like, you want a hint? But I can't say who it is, but I'll give you a hint. So I let them give me a bunch of hints. And finally I tricked them into giving me a hint that would basically give away who it is. <laughs> so they gave me the hint. They responded to the question with the answer. Cause basically the way they were hinting is like, I was asking questions and they were answering. So finally I asked a question that could have only been one person because I had a suspicion and I, I was like, you know, I'm gonna do this. They don't know it could be more than one person. I'm gonna ask. It gave it away. So I said, is it this person? Because it could have been, they said it was a guy from the beginning and I was like, okay, if it's a guy, it could only be one person because the rest of the people messaging me about this are girls. So I asked. I was right. The person's name was Jacob. So then I, I DM them. I was like, so this person says you like me. Do you really? And then they respond, no, but they do. <laughs> and I wasn't allowed to say that, but they like you. And they're just saying it's me because they're too shy to admit they like you. So I go back and say, I go back to that other person and I DM them. I'm like, so this happened. They delete their Snapchat. By the way, Jacob was direct messaging me on Insta, and so were the rest of them. This person was direct messaging me on Snap. They deleted their Snap after that. Um.
Also, in case you can't tell by now, I am really bad at explaining things. So yeah, then I, I go back and I tell them, and they're like, just pretending to be clueless. So I'm like, okay, this is a wild goose chase here. And so I'm like, you know what? I'll leave it be. If one of you likes me, come out and say it already. Am I that scary? <laughs> Look, long story short, if someone likes me, say it to me. I'm not going to ask someone out when I'm being led around on a wild goose chase. I've got more... I've got better things to do with my life. Um, kind of. <laughs> no, I have better things to do with my life. Um, just, yeah, if someone likes me, hey, I'm not, I'm not unapproachable. Just say you like me. If you actually like me and you say it to me, you never know. We could we could go we could go out on a date, we could be in a relationship at some point. You never know. But you gotta say it. Don't be shy. I'm I find being shy really unattractive. I really love confidence. So, um yeah. Like, I'm not going to ask him out. That's your answer. Long story short, he can ask me out. I'm not going to ask him out. I would ask him out if he admit that he likes me. How about that? If he doesn't want to go so far, I will compromise. And if he doesn't want to ask me out himself, so long as he admits that he likes me, then I'll take it the next step and I'll ask him out. But don't. He, he can't even admit it. He's denying that it's him, so why would I ask him out, you know? That's your answer, right there. If I knew he liked me, I would. I'm not going to waste my time on someone who denies the fact that they like me. If he is denying it, then I'm going to take his word for it, and I'm not going to waste any more time. I gave it the time of day until he denied it, and I realized I was being led on a wild goose chase. I am literally rambling on right now, so I'm going to stop. You get the point. I'm not going to waste your time when you guys get the point. But yeah, long story short, if he can admit that he likes me, yes, I'll, he's got a shot. I will ask him out. He has more than a shot. But he needs to admit it first. I don't want him denying it because I'm not going to waste my time to ask someone out only to get rejected. Right now, as far as I'm concerned, he doesn't like me because he hasn't said he likes me. When he can admit it to me, I'll ask him out. And I said I'm not going to waste your time, but I keep rambling about this. I'm done. I'm done rambling about this. Uh, let's see if I have any more questions. Person says, have you ever fingered yourself? <laughs> No, no, I have not. No, I have not fingered myself. Thank you very much. Um, I don't plan on it either. Uh, person says, what is your stance on marriage? I don't really believe in marriage. I, I believe in commitment in relationships. I think marriage is another, another, a whole other story, and I think, um, I don't believe on it for a lot of reasons, but mainly, I don't want to walk around with a ring on my finger. I don't like rings. <laughs> yeah. So, that's that. And you know, when it comes to, a lot of people think just the girl gets a ring, but no, that's the engagement part. But when you get married, there are wedding rings that both the girl and guy get, and I don't want to walk around with freaking wedding rings. It's an, I don't like that idea. The guys is a lot smaller, granted, but I, I don't want it. Uh, I really, like, I... And even if it was with a, another guy, I don't... I, I, I just don't believe in marriage, okay? I believe in commitment. I believe in relationships. I'm, I'm not a huge fan of marriage. You never know. Like, 
it could happen in the future. You you never really know. But I'm not I'm I, I'm not a huge fan of it. And if it did happen in the future, because I'm not saying there's no chance that that. If I did get married in the future, though, prenub is completely necessary. I would make sure for a prenub, and like I would not get married without getting a prenub. Um, and no rings. No freaking rings or any of that shit. Those are my standards. I'm not saying it's off the table. I'm saying I'm just not a huge fan of it, but if it did happen, there would have to be prenup and no rings. Someone says... Oh no, that's too funny. <laughs> that's too funny, oh my god. The person says, how many dicks can you fit in your mouth at once? This video is so not getting monetized. <laughs> With you guys' questions, this is not getting monetized. Um, none. <laughs> Zero. Zilch. Not, I, I can't, I, no. I don't, no. <laughs> um, God, these questions are getting dirty all of a sudden. Okay, wait, let me see if I can find an innocent one. <laughs> Are you a good actor? <clears throat> Ooh, Rocky. Really? <sighs> Overwhelmed, overworked, overpaid. I'm on top of the world, sitting pretty on a staff, but the static still cracks in my veins. At the bottom of the universe, I'm feeling all the weight. People die for this. People lie for this. People suck and fuck some guy for this. Pay the toll for this. Sell the soul for this. Play my part, but what's my role in this? I'm not built for this. All the guilt of this, and I don't think I can deal with this. I'm too old for this. Gonna fold from this. People starving, and I get gold for this? You all chalk me up as some whiny fuck who's stressed by success like my life sucks. I get it. I know. It's such a conundrum. I can't have much fun. I get what I want, but I can't have much fun with it. It's not the fame or the money I'm yearning. I don't give a fuck about what I've been earning, but each day I wake up more blessed and I'm learning of all these people I least deserve it. <laughs> I don't deserve it. I try to be perfect, I'll never be perfect. I'm not worth it. Keep looking for answers, I swear I've been searching, but come up short and I give up quick, because if I found it, I think I'd be scared of it. You don't see the scene that's behind the screen, and I urge you all to be aware of it. It's an interesting dichotomy of monetary sincerity, stir up my insecurity with constant uncertainty, generation of anxiety, the look at me, society, dubiety, of piety, the gods will suffer silently. I'm sorry for my obsession with attention. I have an ungodly fear of rejection. My apprehension and objection is a viral infection of dollars and followers in place of affection. What I need is a human connection, not blue light and a foggy reflection of my misconception of my own perception, a result of too much introspection. They find my disinterest interesting, my depression a funny thing, my decline is relatable. People love that I hate myself. Yeah, they love that I hate myself. People love that I hate myself. People love that I hate myself. People love that I hate myself. I climbed out of my head and watched myself implode. A thought without a body ought to be the shot to take a load off. My brain is poison and I'm searching for the antidote. But every time I find it, my defense is screaming, No, you don't. Whoa. But it's fine. No, really, I'm fine. It's just a matter of time. You lose your mind and not be fine from time to time. I'm not crazy, but I feel crazy all of a sudden in a city. Never seen snow or rain or leaves in autumn. Lose yourself in seasons, not remembering that you forgot. I'm knocking on my door. I can't confront him, so I lock him out. But I don't mind. No, I really don't mind. Cause believe it or not, it feels good to be forgot from time to time. I'm recording. So yeah, there's your answer. I am a good, I am a good actor. And there goes Rocky. There's your answer, I am a good actor. <laughs> and now you know I could rap also. Um, for those of you who don't know that, I did cover that. I will link it below. That is part two to Gabby's Roast Yourself Harder Challenge. Um, I'll link the full video below. Um, I think that's it for questions right now. You know what, I'll do one more. One more question. Will you be my boyfriend? Um, oh, crap. I don't know, I have to get to know you in person first. I have nothing against dating viewers, but, um, you know, I, I, 
I, I can't decide that until I meet someone in person. <laughs> yeah, okay. Real quick, before I go, I have merch. I have t-shirts. I have shot glasses. Yes, shot glasses. Make sure you're of legal drinking age to get these. Hoodies. And I'm also working on a line of coffee mugs in phone cases that will be out shortly. The coffee mugs I plan on releasing mid-January. And the phone cases I plan on releasing mid-February. Uh, the link is in my description of this video and also the pinned comment. So go and get my merch. I've also got a Patreon. It's $5 a month. You can pledge $5 a month as a tier on my Patreon. It's free to make a Patreon account. Then you just go look, you look me up on Patreon or if you click the link, it brings you directly to my Patreon profile. And you can pledge $5 a month as a tier for exclusive content. I've got vlogs. My New York vlogs are there where I visit my birth house. I, um, I visit, I, I tour my city. I go to the 9-11 Memorial, see my dad. There's a lot of shit in the New York vlogs, just a lot. I got into a fight with a friend, twice. <laughs> um, yeah, so my New York vlogs, part one, two, and three are on my Patreon. Um, as of the time I release this, so will the Noah Cyrus Good Cry Tour vlog. That will be up there. Um... I'm, I'm gonna have a lot of vlogs on my Patreon, but there's just a lot of exclusive content. You get exclusive singing videos, exclusive dancing videos, you get vlogs, just a lot of shit on there. So go pledge $5 a month to my Patreon. It's not that expensive, it's $5. It's cheaper than fucking Apple Music or Spotify, for God's sakes. That will be linked in the description, pin comment. Um, go follow my other social media, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, they will be linked in the description and pin comment. Um, my Twitter is currently suspended, but by the time I release this, hopefully it won't be because it literally got suspended because of a fucking glitch where my birth year changed on Twitter and I changed it back. And then it says, you made this account when you were under 13 and we have suspended you. And so I reported the issue and thankfully I have connections and I went in because normally it takes them a few months to get on it. Thankfully I use connections. And I reported the issue and then I went to my connections and reported it. So they jumped on it immediately, but they are taking a lot of time to figure this out because they're, they're just struggling. They're really struggling to get it fixed. So hopefully that'll be up by the time I release this. Um, I was planning on releasing this video at the beginning of January, but rather than release it at the beginning of January, I am probably going to release it on Christmas Eve because, or the morning, because Christmas Eve doesn't start till the evening, right? I, I don't fucking know. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna release it the day before Christmas, that morning. I'm going to release it the morning before Christmas yeah. morning because there were a lot of Christmas questions and there were a few New Year's questions. So I'm gonna release it then. I will link Caitlin's Instagram, go follow her. She is great with photography and shit and trying to get her career taken off. She's also a makeup artist. So if you ever need a job with that, hit her up in direct message. I'm trying to get you a thousand subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed already, subscribe, hit the bell so you get notified when I post. Um, I'm rambling at this point. I don't wanna waste any more time. But yeah, also get your friends, tell them about me, get them to subscribe, get them to follow me because I'm desperately trying to get to 1,000 subscribers, so help me. Um, <laughs> that's it, I need 1,000 1, active subscribers, though, so I'm desperately trying to get to that. Help me with that. Um, that's it for now. I'm not gonna keep rambling and wasting your time because I've said everything I have to say. Uh, hope you enjoyed the Q&A, hope you enjoyed me rambling. I'm sorry for wasting a bunch of time. I love you guys. Let me take a drink real quick because my throat is hurting. <clears throat> I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for putting up with me and my, I want to say weirdness, but I think that's an understatement. <laughs> so yeah, I love you guys. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for putting up with me. Thank you for watching my content. Um, I don't,
I, I don't know a good sign off. Maybe I should do what Gabby Hanna does and say I still don't have a sign off. <laughs> right, I love you guys. Um, thank you for watching. I'm wasting a ton of time, so. <laughs> Mwah. Bye.